Greetings of the day my friends this is your host Ruhani Bakshi on the behalf of Medprit Technologies a 15 year old software and web development company welcoming you all to a learning session of Magento 2 Today we are going to discuss the vital points which is required to set up the multiple currencies in your Magento 2 store. Well, Magento 2 comes with a single currency by default which can be easily changed and even the various currency related settings can be done with your Magento 2 admin panel. For your online business in order to have a global reach of the customers this feature is mandate. So let's get practical with our set words. For this we are diving into the Magento 2 admin panel and need to fetch the section of stores and select select this option of configuration which is falling under the title of settings. After selecting the option of the configuration we will get this present screen of configuration which is going to have options for you. From the left hand side corner we can see so many links out there for the Present video we are going to focus on the first link of general we need to expand this scroll down further and we need to click on the sub link of currency setup selecting this will open now the page of currency setup which is showing us three options currency options what service and schedule import settings so out of all first we are going to discuss <clears throat> Excuse me. First we are going to discuss for currency options. Expand this. Here we can see three types of things. First is the base currency, second being the default display currency and third being the allowed currency. So let's get them in action now. First being base currency. Well, this option is used for your online payment transactions. though base currency is directly related with the price of your products but if we change the base currency for your products the price will remain the same and the currency rate as well will not be updated okay so for an instance if you are charging some products in dollars and then from here you change the base currency into pounds or euros or anything else we need to update the currency rates as well separately in order to avoid the fluctuations in the profit margins for this you need to stick to our next video for updating the currency rates for my present video i'm going to have my base currency as us dollar only you can select as per your selection you can select any sort of uh, currency you want to have as your base currency but i'm going to have this my us dollar here this as my base currency okay Next we are going to have is default display currency. Well, this option is for displaying the currency for your products on the front end. We can select the currencies for each of the store views because we are having so many options. So, so for each of the store view you are having a uh, different type of store views. So you can select as per your store view and even after selecting them from here you need to allow them you need to have them enabled in the allowed currencies as well okay for my instance i'm just going to keep my default display currency us dollar only okay next we are stepping to allowed currencies well this option enable us to have the list of the choices we are going to have for our different currencies for our front end but we do need to select the base currency as well my base currency here is us dollar so i have selected this okay after selecting your base currency which however you have selected as per your requirement then you can go for your choices of allowed currencies okay so once we do the currency updation of your rates okay by our admin panel the list of the currency we allow will show the exact currency rates to our customers okay so uh, whether they are going for euro whether you are going for um, dinar or whether you going for dollar pounds anything you allow that uh, particular currency rates will be shown on the front end as well okay so along with my us dollar i'm going to select the next currency for my store as euro you need to hold the control button for selecting the multiple currencies and then i'm going to have my British pound. Okay. 
so after this we also have the option that we can uh, you know just change the scope of this uh, what do you say currency right globally it is configured uh, by default okay so for this i'm going to for my next sublink which is going to fall under the link of catalog this sublink of catalog we need to select this to change the what do you say the scope of the currency okay here out of all so many options we need to focus on this price option this will show you the catalog price scope it is having two things global or website okay so if you want to show your scope as per your websites you can select the website thing and if you want to have this price scope globally for all the websites you need to select this global thing okay so select as per your requirements and now we're going back to the currency setup and this here you go after going back to our currency setup now we are going to import the connection from here we will select the optional web cervix okay so we are having the option of connection timeout in seconds which is asking you for the time in seconds we need to assign before the connection time expires we are keeping it for example as 150 seconds okay for instance so you can select as per your requirements then we are going to have scheduled import settings expand this okay these are showing this options first option is enabled okay so this we need to select this as yes if we are allowing the automatic update of your currency updates okay even we'll discuss that how can we manually update the import uh, what do you say the currency rate or uh, and even we can import the currency rates that will be discussed in the next video but for the current video we are going to discuss that how can we automatically update the currency rate so this is the way you can do this next even you can select the service provider you know the rate provider of your currency rates so by default is given web cervix so if you are having any sort of uh, any other rate provider you can uh, just select this the name from here and you can put it there okay next we are going to have a start time that will be having the time frame we need to assign in seconds minutes hours for updating the currency rates okay next is the frequency this option will set the frequency we need to have for our rates daily weekly or monthly and lasting options are we are having is for recipient sender and the template of the error emails okay so we need to select these all things as per our store requirements after doing all these settings we need to save the work done with save config button okay after saving all these things you might uh, get there is or uh, what do you say the prompt for a cache management and you need to have this thing to be done so that the changes can be displayed on the front end okay so here even I got the prompt for catcher management. I'm gonna do that. Okay. So after doing the catcher management, your currency, multiple currencies will be set up for your store or as for your store views. Okay. So what's next? Oh, next is your turn to go and explore your Magento 2 store with this alluring feature of multi currency, which can gain your customers more of the unbeatable shopping experience and more of the profit margins for your store. Feel free to ask your Magento related queries and Magento development services at magento at the rate of matrix tech.net.